I'm really bad at vlogging. I realize that. Right? Yeah, I don't vlog, so I'm even worse. Yeah. For my followers, we are at Universal Studios. Haven't been here in like, I haven't been here in like 20 years. How many years? Are you? About 15. the same. 15 years. I will try to not be a trash person and actually try to record the whole day. It's really hot. It, is. It's it said that bad. it was supposed to be like bad. 87 and I feel like it's more in the 90s. My armpits are definitely gonna sweat today. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sweaty armpit. They already are kind of sweaty. <gasps> this is Harry Potter in there. Wizarding World of Harry Potter. <gasps> There's Harry Potter stuff. I'm excited. Ooh, look. I haven't seen that in like ever. Super excited. Okay. Bye. I'm excited. I literally have not been in Universal Studios since I was a little, little freaking kid. Same. It's really hot. My armpits are sweaty. But my bladder has been taken care of, so we're good to go. Next time I'm going pee before we get on the road. That's a good idea. That's what I did. Pee in your house. Who peed in my house? On your car. So we're gonna go do the studio tour first, right? right. And then we're gonna go do Jurassic World. And then we're gonna end the night at Harry Potter World. Which is what I really came here for, because I've never been, and I've been wanting to go for a very long time. It's not that bad, there's not a lot of people here either, so it doesn't seem super crowded, but then it could also just be the entrance, you know? All right, okay, so that's it, okay, bye. We'll show you the studios here in a second. Coach Fran, for your safety and our safety as well. And bleeds more to arms and legs as the next one joining us, guys, here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Limited edition. For this year marks our 25th anniversary of the World Famous Studio Tour, in which we will be taking you one of the world's largest the oldest, oldest and busiest TV movie studio on the planet Earth. And we do have a couple of productions that are out there filming today, including Hallmark's Hallmark Family, with David Metzenopoulos oh, and Cameron Matheson. A talk show that you can catch on weekdays on the Hallmark Channel. Now folks, once we do get close to them, I will have to cut off the microphone for a bit. Just because we're going to get really close to the active filming location, and I don't want them to pick up on my beautiful and lovely voice during the middle of their take, because it'll ruin the take for them. But, once we're out of the quiet I'll be able to hop back on the mic. You know, also pop something like this on your screen, too, just to simply tell you again that this film is going on for Hallmark stuff like that. You'll see nothing more than steel infrastructure. Even some of the doors as well allow you to go into the backside as well. But again, there's nothing pitted on that backside, just only in front. Compared to the actual scale buildings you're seeing on your left hand side that are also known as facades, meaning just the front insides of a building. Sometimes we only need to build what the camera needs to see. Why? Well, because your imagination will fill in all of the rest. Now, some of these buildings are also known as practical sets too, meaning that you can film both indoors as well as outdoors of them as well. And take a good look at how tall they are. They only stand about 50 feet tall. But they give the camera an illusion that these buildings look as tall as the real ones do in any big city from around the world, including London, or even, ladies and gentlemen, more notably around this corner, maybe the streets of New York. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the big city of New oh, York. Look at We're that. here, we get to pick parts of our very That's own Broadway dope. theaters and districts that we all know from the big city. And of course, my co-host, Jimmy Fallon, is no stranger to the city of New York, because after all, that's where he shoots for The Tonight Show. Hey everyone, welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. I always got mugged over there. That old woman, tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey buddy, how's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. <laughs> it's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. That's right, Jimmy. Countless TV shows, music videos, and movies have utilized their Metropolitan sets. TV shows include an American Ninja Warrior, where we created all of the opposite courses throughout the entire Metro sets we're driving through right now. And other TV shows including Brooklyn Nine-Nine, NCIS, Key and Peele, How I Met Your Mother, CSI, The Mindy Project. 
project Gone Girl and The Good Place. And movies like our up and coming ones, including Fast and Furious Presents, Hobbs and Shaw with Dwayne and Rock Johnson and Jason Statham. Y'all, we just had $30 gourmet Chinese food. Five. So if you come to Universal Studios, try to sneak your own food somehow, some way, because you either have an option of like twelve dollar was it twelve dollar corn dogs, and then like a place that is Costa Rican food, but you know the Chinese food over there is just as Chinese as the cor cor post cor I don't even know Costa Rican food is. We're on the lower level. This camera is like in my face, and we're uh, contemplating if we're gonna go on Jurassic World, just so you can see. Supposedly they rated it. This is the Jurassic World ride. <laughs> it's about a two-hour wait time. Is what the app says but last time something said it was a two-hour wait line it was only like an hour so we're gonna see cuz like I really don't care about this I care about Harry Potter world more so we're gonna check out the line and see what the wait is okay just kidding <laughs> that line was definitely like a two-hour it yeah. looked like it was gonna be two hours <laughs> it was a line there are at least like 5,000 people. Oh, there was a lot. It literally like almost to the entrance. We're gonna make our way to Harry Potter World instead. And if we finish Harry Potter World in time, by the time the park closes, then we'll try Jurassic World again. I don't know what's the big deal. Is it just because they changed it from Jurassic Park? It's not like nostalgic. It's not nostalgic. It's the whole new Jurassic World. I like the way that these are. You know? There's a raptor show. Raptor encounter at 7 p.m. Technically, we could wait. It's only like 30 minutes. Look how cool that is. I feel like I'm in a different place. I mean, I am, but you know, I can't wait for Hobbs and Shaw. Okay, we'll see you at Harry Potter World. Bye. Deuces. No, they had that in the gift shop I was in. The cake shop? Gift shop, because I was looking to see how much those passes are. Which, by the way, if you want express passes at Universal Studios, it's $80 for one express pass, and you can ride each attraction once for the day. Or you can just download. So I think it's more worth it to get like the higher tier, like. Oh, the pass? pass yeah. No. Well, because you think about it. Just, get the, just download the app, and you can see what the wait times are, and then you just plan accordingly. Yeah, did I mean? Yeah, did I mean? Yeah. Okay, we are. I just wanted to show you what this. What does the Simpsons Land area look like? That's pretty cool. Okay, bye. Finally. Oh my God, I've been waiting, waiting for this moment to step into Harry Potter world. I'm like freaking out right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Please respect the spell limits. Yeah. Ah, so cool. I'm so excited to be here, like it's dumb. I'm so dumb excited. And the best, most exciting part right here is Butterbeer. We're gonna get some, for sure. Are we getting Butterbeer right now? So right now, right now? Yeah, so we can walk around and drink our Butterbeer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm down. Oh, you can barely see us because it's jar. Oh, look. Outdoor. We just rode on, was it the Harry, well there's like a Harry Potter ride, we rode on it twice and then we did the Hagrid's ride which was very disappointing because it was short. Very short. Very, very short. It was literally 15 seconds long. It was probably less than that, I think it was like a 20, 25 minute wait for like a 30 second ride. And then we went back into the Harry Potter one again and it, went, it was like, it was really cool. Is there another light show? Same exact show. It is the same exact show. How do we get out? Which way? Which way? Now we're just gonna find like the little windows that I can do the tricks on with my wand. That's a cool looking look. It is really cool. That's pretty cool looking. Like I'm not gonna lie. Cool from right here. Sneak peek of the light show. All right, so we gotta find these windows where I can do the wand tricks at. Yeah. 
So by the way, butterbeer is delicious. I would say it's a successful day. Literally. In Hollywood. Literally a successful day. My phone literally just died. Oh, my Are you rating this? We're rating this day what? An A? Solid A. Not an A plus because it was way too hot. It's hot. But that's that's you know that's not <laughs> that's not the park's fault. And they did their best with all the fans and misters. Oh yeah, no. Which like we met this really funny lady. Her son was like handicapped and she was telling us about really crazy lady. all her struggles. So all you theme parks out there, you should keep in mind families who have handicapped family members that they need to take care of. <laughs> Disneyland, can you make like a four by six room for adult handicapped people, like like legit? They, I mean like they made a nursing room. You would think that they could at least make a room like that to like change for people to change like adult kids. I'm highly upset that we missed water water. Sorry. Off topic, but back to the topic. No, I think they just don't figure people are gonna take handicapped kids to a theme, theme park. park. I know. It's like they can't do much. But Disneyland is like the happiest place yes. in the world, but right? Not on for Earth. <laughs> not for the people that have handicapped kids because apparently there's only like three rides they can go on. You pay $200 and then they don't have handicap accessible bathrooms. So, just saying. Are you guys vlogging? Yeah. What's your channel? <laughs> when are you gonna post it? I don't know. Probably, hopefully soon. I have to edit a lot of a lot of videos. Hey, yeah, look, you're already famous. Already famous. My favorite thing about today was that Harry Potter ride. Harry Potter for sure. Harry Potter. There was like this one Harry Potter ride where like sit and then you like. There's it, also like, that there was like cool, simulation and then it went back to reality. Cool situation where that girl met you. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that we, in a second. Oh okay, yeah, we're about to leave the park. Hold on. Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. Are you? So what were we talking about? Favorite part. Oh yeah, so super cool. I got selected today by the wand keeper to like oh, ritual. <laughs> to get my wand. It was really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. So the crazy thing about that, when we were waiting in line for Butterbeer, there was a chick behind us in line. She was wearing Hufflepuff and I'm Hufflepuff and now he's Hufflepuff because he just found out. So we were just like, ah, oh, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. And then she was telling us about how she got selected and she like started crying and I thought it was the coolest thing. And then when we did it, I got selected and I thought that was the coolest thing. I was like, wow, and it was so awesome. Like I got my wand, paid for it. I'm a freaking wizard. He's a muggle just like I said but it's fine. That was like the coolest part. And then we did the Harry Potter right afterwards. I feel like we should get a picture in front of it now at night. Cause it's so cool looking. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's, so what's, so what's the scenario? We are finally done with Universal Studios. I'm so tired. At long last. At long last. It was literally really a hot day. Hot day. It was very hot acai and sticky. Hot acai. Acai? We are signing off. I'll catch you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever footage that I got of Universal Studios. Come check it out. Peace. Are you doing that really cool thing? Were you trying to do that? Yeah. It's still not working. There you go. Bye.